comic fans, what's going on? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about a hidden gem that just recently finished. I haven't heard too many people talking about this. Easily one of the best miniseries I've ever read in my entire life. Oh, it's so good. I hope you guys are all doing well as well. Um, you know, it's been a rough year, so I hope everyone's been been having a good time making it through, surviving. Um, if you're not doing too well, I wish you all the best. Hit us up, talk to us. Everything's going to be okay. All will be well. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about Alienated Today. This was a mini series from Boom Studios, written by Simon Spurrier, with artwork by Chris Wild Goose and Andre May. Six issues total, mini series. Um, I will say they're pretty in depth, six issues. Um, really fantastic story. I'm going to take a look at the first two issues sort of at the top, you know, top down level. I um, don't want to spoil too much because there's a lot going on in this book and it's all fantastic and you should experience all of it. Before we get into it too far, though, I do want to say check out our Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can win an omnibus, an absolute edition, deluxe editions, whatever it is that uh, that people vote for, all that fun stuff. Um, so as little as a dollar a month, you have a chance to win that. We give away digital codes as well whenever we get them. So a lot of fun things going on there. And if you're interested in THC merch, I got my mug recently. I don't have it out here, but check out one of our latest live streams. Matt and I are both rocking our THC, our the hardcover comic merch. So without further ado, though, let's talk some Alienated. So like I said, a six-issue miniseries written by Simon Spurrier, artwork by Chris Wild Goose and Andre May. Uh, a little bit of background info on Alienated. So it follows these three characters. They're all named Sam. Um, Samuel, Samir, and Samantha. You get introduced to them right at the start of the book. They are teenagers going to high school um, in the modern era. And things spiral out of control then by the end of this first issue, things really take a turn for the for the for the wild. Um they basically encounter this little robotic uh alien creature thing um that that really changes their lives to say the the very least. Um it basically connects them all on a on a mental level, on a te telepathic level, and um they start being in each other's heads. Now what's really interesting what Simon Spurrier does here is he this story takes a really dark turn it's a lot darker than i thought it would be reading the first issue um these characters all have deep deep and intricate internal flaws um samuel himself he's one of these guys who wants to you know create a revolution he's not happy with life the way it is you find out why that is as well but he's not very happy with life and um he wants to he wants to cause a revolution samir um samir is a muslim who you know he's going through a lot of problems he's also um you know, he's also, I don't know exactly if he's if he's homosexual or bisexual. I feel like he's bisexual. But either way, he, his sexuality is more fluid than, than the standard norms. And of course, coming from a religious family like he does, that's not necessarily something they um, accept. And so he has to deal with that and he has to deal with, you know, being liked by a lot of people, by, by following his heart and his, his desires and things like that. So he's going through a lot on, on his end. And with Samantha, you've got a, a character who you actually find out a lot about within in the third issue. It's actually pretty remarkable what Spurrier does and, and, and Wild Goose do in that issue. It's absolutely mind boggling. Um, but she, you know, she, she's sort of waiting for this whole high school thing to be over, to move to a new city, to sort of get out of the situation she's in. Um, and yeah, uh, again, the, the first issue... Um, really really kicks things off fast and, and things continue to escalate very very quickly it's really interesting to see the topics um and, and the situations that spurrier handles here i mean they're very deep and intricate topics whether you're talking about sexuality um, whether you're talking about children um, suicide mental health um, you know loneliness being a high school student trying to fit in. What's really well done about this book too is that even though it's set in the modern day and era, I think there's a lot in here that people of all ages, whether you're an, an adult now or just growing up, I think there's a lot for everyone to relate to in this book. Um, you know, feeling invisible, trying to be noticed, but not, not necessarily known. It's very fascinating. So many intricate, deep, complex topics covered by Spurrier in this run. With a with a fantastic epic storyline to follow it that has that that sci-fi element with the with the alien chip, um, and I must say I was absolutely blown away by this series. It is so so well done. I I truly cannot give it enough praise. I think it's one of my favorite stories from this year. I mean, it's so fantastic. I mean, Simon Spurrier, he just 
The way he writes dialogue is beautiful. He's got all these different levels that you can see in the lettering where it'll be like very small text and then it'll get bigger. Um, you know, there's a lot of variety in the way he writes. It's, I, I just, I, I love it very, very much. And again, he tackles such complex problems and gives you such fascinating perspectives on them as the characters try to help each other with their problems, as you see the characters deal with their own problems and the way they approach them as they gain um, perspective on their own problems as well as they're dealing with them. It's very fascinating. It deals with things like social media, pop culture, um, you know, humanity in general, the sort of state of the world we're in now, you know, where we've got all these conflicting factions, people being in, in these tribes that they set themselves in and fighting one, uh, one against the other, trying to figure out a way to be liked, you know, raging at the world and trying to tear it all down. Um, very, very well done. Um, this definitely pulled at my heartstrings many, many times. Um, with every character, it was it was heart wrenching and so beautifully done. Hope I was able to sell you guys on this title. I hope the artwork was able to really draw you in. It's stunning. I didn't want to show too much because a lot happens in every issue, and especially in particular with issues three through six. I mean, there's no way, I, there's no chance I could show you any of it without spoiling something. I really, really can't sing this book's praises enough. It's really fantastic. I cannot wait to keep rereading this for a very, very long time. It's definitely going in one of my two Simon Spurrier anthology custom pines. That dude writes some phenomenal miniseries. Um, if you've read Alienated, let me know what you thought of it down below, please. Um, I'm very interested to hear people's thoughts on it. If you've read anything else by Simon Spurrier that you recommend other folks check out, please do as well. I've mentioned a whole slew of his series in past uh, top five um, hidden gem series and whatnot. But um, this was my hidden gem video for the week. I'm hopefully hoping to do at least one of these a week. I, I've got a, a few on the docket here that I need to uh, power my way through and enjoy and, and make videos on. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is what we do on a regular basis, trying to hit at least three or four videos a week now. Doing live streams and all that, going back steady with those. Um, having a lot of fun on those too. There's definitely some... Uh, some influence going on um definitely a little bit of wine being being had for sure to be sure and uh, it makes me uh very loose and very fun i think at least that's the feedback i've gotten so we'll continue to do that without letting the uh, the demon the demon out of the bottle but um check out our, our patreon as well for as little as a dollar a month you can win an omnibus absolute edition deluxe edition last month our winner won three deluxe editions our new drawing is happening soon happening soon uh, uh september's over october's coming so um there's going to be a new drawing happening here shortly so looking forward to that on the patreon and check out our merch we've got a whole bunch of pictures on instagram uh, i recently got my mug you can check that out on live streams if you're interested to see what that looks like very happy with it i'm so thrilled i never thought coffee could be better but it definitely can when it's in a mug from a youtube channel that you've created that you're having a lot of fun with but um love you guys all very much thank you all very much for tuning in like i said at the start if things are not going well for you if it's been a really rough year for you feel free to reach out to us we're always down to talk whether it's on instagram or on youtube or hit us up at our email um and if you're you know if you're feeling sick if you're not doing too well we wish you a speedy and excellent recovery thank you all very much until next time this was mike from the hardcover comic you stay classy internet